Okay, round two against Spider Nova. I looked out the last game, my phone just timed out. So, what are we gonna do here? Probably play Mongasaur Aether Tap Shaman. Uh, I really hope he doesn't have Twin Strength. Probably wanna keep the Aether Tap Shaman around. So, let's play Aether Tap Shaman in the side lane in case I draw Visage. And then block with the Mongasaur uh, I don't wanna take much damage. And I think it's like my best blocking. I, I don't have very many more blockers. I guess I just play double Titan and ignore his wolves. Uh, Titan side lane, Titan center lane maybe? Depending on what he does with this Mongasaur. There's a Blight Walker for my, uh, whatchamacallit. I could Virix embrace that to move it out of the way, but I'll just let it trade. It doesn't really matter that much. Saving a 7-6 is not really that big a deal. Unless you play something with 4 Tumptons I really want to kill, then I get double value in it. Oh, please don't be a bunch of these. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually Varix Embrace because I don't want to take the poison damage. Uh, let's kind of Varix Embrace this B way over here, move the Shaman to kill the other B, and then go to combat and play Cloud Cleaver Titan in the center lane. And then we'll play the Warhound Cursor to block his 5 6. I could have killed the uh, a B with Warhound Cursor. Might have been better actually. <laughs> but at least this way I get a level of Eric's Embrace and you know have the Aether Tap Shaman. Uh, this card, Blightwalker, doesn't really matter because you can block with level 2 creatures. And I'm probably going to play Warhound Raider and Zithian Rotfiend this turn. Uh, like block the Raider on the 5 6 and Zithian Rotfiend in an empty lane. Well, he's got another Blightwalker he leveled. It's going to be pretty annoying. Okay, that Rotfiend's not going to be blocking anything. I'm just going to scoot this out of the way and then play Empty Lane Rot Fiend. I think Empty Lane Rot Fiend is what I want. Or I could block his Rot Fiend for value, but it's like a trade because he's just going to play a creature right in front of it. Um, so let's just play the our Rot Fiend in the side lane. This way if I draw Chaos Twister and he wants to block the... the uh, actually, I already drew Chaos Twister, didn't I? In like the first hand? No, 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 that was the last game. Okay, so I can play Cauldron Mystic in front of the Rotfiend and that trades with it. This uh, doesn't win the fight against my Titan unless he wants to put a lot of stuff into it. Okay, my best play is actually looking like right of the Grimgot into uh, on this uh, is it the Rotfiend because what is, there's four things dying this turn. And then pass the turn, and then, or I mean, go to combat. Then uh, the roughing does shrink over time, but it only shrinks by one, and it gets plus one for each creature that it kills, so that's it kind of balances out. Uh, go to combat, then play the Cauldron Mystic way over here in Nowhere Land. I, I said I was going to play it in front of the Rothfiend so it would trade, but uh, when I have such a big board presence right here with the, uh, the Rothfiend, Forces him to put a Blightwalker or something in front of it, which is fine. I can block this with Warhound Raider, maybe. I kind of want a chaos, a good Chaos Twister. Okay, so he did have one of his two Blightwalkers. Yeah, okay, there's the Chaos Twister I wanted. If I'm really lucky, I'll get the two damage on something relevant. Yeah, I don't want to take a bunch of damage from this to the Rot Fiend, so I'll just block it now. And I got the two damage on the Rot Fiend, so that's pretty good. Okay, now a, a Warhound Dog would kill the Rot Fiend. I didn't get one, unfortunately. I can play Warbringer, uh, Flesh Fiend or Blizzard Shaman in front of it to kill it as well. But that, that trades my cards. Uh, Restless Wonders didn't do anything, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> And Plunder Imp takes my Warbringer Ronti. There's no way he takes Rebel Small until that card's horrible. Six plus five is eleven. Uh, let's play. 
I'll just kill both his creatures with Cloud Clear Titan. Uh, it gives me a lot more value that way. I should play the Blizzard Shaman first so I guarantee the uh, the combat. Okay, so battle here, then move the Cloud Clear Titan back over, and play Flesh Fiend in a side lane. Mangasaur and Aether Top Shaman are probably the best cards I need. How am I winning this game? He's got a bunch of Blightwalkers, so the right of the Grimgun play was just bad. Like, I shouldn't have done that. I should have thought about that a little more. Cauldron Mystic, Warhound Raider, and Zithine Rothfiend are what I'm relying on to draw this next hand. Not the best cards. There's a Spring Dryad. Um, any other wolves to make a Spring Dryad really hard to kill? I'll just throw Aether Tap Shaman in front of it. This is a level 2 card that's really, really small. So I don't even mind throwing it in front of a, a large creature like that to kill the otherwise out of reach Spring Dryad. Uh, we'll just play Mongasaur in a center lane, or th this lane, because I'll just take 10 from this. I can block it with other creatures. Uh, maybe even a... F do I have any 5-6s or something like that? Any 5 power creatures left? I have a Cauldron Mystic, so there is merit to using this Warhound Cursor in front of a, a guy. Because if I draw Cauldron Mystic, I want to play it in front of the damaged one. Didn't draw Cauldron Mystic. Um, might have to Grave Pack to this Mongasaur if, it, if he blocks it with something small. We'll, we'll see. Currently, my play is Full Sun from our deal with Zithian Rot Fiend. If he plays another really big level 2 creature, I'm probably just going to Grave Pack the. E I'm going to Grave Pack my. Yeah, because if I sacrifice this, it does it kills the Spring Dryad, and I get to just keep taking three from this card. And I need to level the the Grave Pact because I can't deal with Spring Dryad any other way. It's gonna be pretty rough to deal with that Blightwalker though, unless I just draw the the Unrot Fiend immediately. I even drew the Grave Pact, which is pretty nice. Because he plays level 3 here, I'm just going to snap the Grave Pact off to get a, a free Grave Pact next rank. Yeah, that's a pretty late Abyssal Root, but I guess it kind of kills my guy. Yeah, it definitely kills my guy. Oh, sick. A level 3 Lightwalker. So I can kill that. Which is worth killing because it's an 818 and really hard for me to kill otherwise. I do continue to take damage from this wolf, but the. Uh, can't really do much about that right now. I'm in full on recovery mode. <laughs> My cards aren't aggressive enough to fight his, so I'm having to play catch up a lot. Because the Tempest cards are so weak on the. well, everything. Like, the best card in Tempest is Warhound Raider, and it, it's just an average creature with it provides with another creature. It's an enabler for other strategies, it doesn't actually do very much on its own. Hopefully he plays something in front of Rothfiend and Blizzard Chomp moves uh, it, the, the, oh my goodness. Okay, uh, it's, hmm. okay, so the plan A is, hmm, what is plan A? I think I kill the Rothfiend and play Blizzard Chomp and hope, hope to move the, the Rothfiend in front of the Spring Dryad. And if it doesn't, play a Cursor in front of Spring Dryad, and then play Totem of Berserker or something. And I need to play this after combat so I can ensure that the uh, I have more chances to move into Spring Dryad's lane. There we go. That, that was an excellent block. Good job. Is it the end, Rock Fiend? <laughs> and then we'll just kill the wolf that's killing me and then play a 2 2. Chaos Twister might be pretty good. That was actually super good. Okay, it won't actually kill the Spring Dryad, uh, because he'll get plus 6, plus 6 this turn when he plays two creatures. Or possibly more. Uh, but still, it does 15 damage to it, which is a lot. And now we can Chaos Twister the Bee, the Spring Dryad, and the Grove Matriarch. Uh, which puts a lot less pressure on his board. 
Unfortunately, my follow-up play is really weak. It's actually just a zombie titan. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'll take it. I could play Rubble Stone Elemental and get in for 8, but then I have no board, so <laughs> don't really want to do that. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm coming back from this. Plunder Imp trades, that's pretty good. Maybe if my opponent gets really, really level screwed and I draw my level 3s, like all the time, I could see coming back from that. What did he take there? Flamestoke Shaman? Okay, so we're not completely dead yet. We can play Mongosaur in front of the Seedling, because I, I can't afford to take uh, 16th of my damage every turn. Then I can play Cloud Cleaver Titan in front of the... Uh, whatchamacallit to shrink it? Scythian Rot Fiend. That way it dies to any... Almost... I wish I, I wish I had a 5 power creature. But I did not have one in my hand. This does 10 damage in formation. Probably not worth playing over the Warhound Raider. There's another Spring Dryad. Though if he does formation with a... I can get Chaos Twister value. He doesn't look like he's doing it. So what I want to do is play Warhound Raider uh, to trade with this because I don't want it to keep hitting me. Uh, actually, Blizzard Shaman lives, and I get to keep the Warhound Raider. That might be better. That, that is better, actually. Okay, I get to kill a Spring Dryad too, and then play Warhound Raider to kill the Unbreak One Manus. He doesn't have anything that really picks up easy uh, blocks that leaves stuff behind for him. Just, just the level three Grove Matriarch he has. Oh, I guess he has the stupid Blight Walkers. I didn't. I only saw one of those in uh, rank three, but I know he has them. That seems like an odd block. Unless he has Sting Invocation and is hoping to get lucky. No, he just plays another Dryad. Okay, so I get to kill both of his Dryads and have a creature on the board. That's super good for me. Uh, what am I going to play here? Uh, definitely Mongasaur and Cloud Cleaver Titan, because th th they do the most damage. Aethertop Shaman's one bigger, but if I can get Raid with this Dinosaur, it's going to be way better than the uh, the Aethertop Shaman's possible mobility if I draw my Theorex Embrace, I think. Or right at the Grimdown, I guess. This hand is a full of spells, jeez. Uh, I'm probably going to have to play Trevor Charge to dodge my either pump or dodge my Stampede Mongasaur. And then see what he plays after that, maybe. This is a card I just don't have the cards to deal with. It's kind of so. What I'm gonna do is play Tremor Charge, move the Mongosaur out of the way, uh, get in for a bunch of damage here, and then play Gloom Reaper Witch in front of the uh, Zithian Rot Fiend. Then finally move my Cloud Cleaver Titan in front of his Grove Mage Arc to block. And if I draw the, the dogs, the free dogs, that would be super good. Okay, there's one of them. Uh, so that doesn't kill the rot beam, but it puts it really low. Uh, makes it a 10... something. 10-6, I believe. Okay, there's a plunder. It actually takes my dog, so I don't get it. Unless he wants to take the zombie titan, which is probably better. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I going to do with this? If I play the 8-2, it just trades Sting Invocation. Hopefully he only gets one again. Yeah, it looks like he only got one. Uh, he can seed it? There's no way I'm like out of the woods yet. He, I only have one level 3 card in my hand. The other ones are not very good. I, I definitely think it's incorrect to concede there. Because there's so much opportunity for me to misplay or for me to just have nothing. Like He could easily win this game. Just because you get unlucky with Sting Invocation twice doesn't mean you have to concede. Like, it's respectable that you do because, you know, I hate that card, but it definitely, it, it definitely could have been his game. It was looking better for me every turn, but that doesn't mean he couldn't have won. Anyway, that's 2-0.